Hey guys, I'm Molly Sanger. It's Monday night. It's Learn with Molly episode 37. And I'm so excited because not only is the Mac Gala streaming in the studio, but Emily Wicks is here. Come on out, Emily. Cheers. Hi. Cheers. Cheers. Guys, I don't know if you clicked on Emily's name or her other Instagram hand dot thrown. You did so good. Emily has opened her own ceramics community clay studio here in Richmond, Virginia on the north side. If you haven't been, check it out. Go take a clay class. It's only like 30 bucks and you can take a whole class and learn and make stuff. So cheers. Welcome. Cheers. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's Monday night, guys. It's Monday night. We got the neck gala. We've got our wine. We're ready to throw. And Emily's got all kinds of tips and tricks she is going to share with y'all. It's going to be fun. So let's go to it. I kind of asked Emily, and if you were on our members, you kind of saw the pre-show. We were introducing them. And talking clay a little bit. So if you're not a member, sign up. The link is in my bio. You get all kinds of extra stuff, and it's so fun to meet y'all. It was good. It was good to like talk and chat and see everything. I saw the map. We talked about people on the map. We talked about different things in the studio. So, and I follow all of my members. So I showed Emily how cool they are, and they're really great potters too. So some join people, the yeah. membership. Some people are making some really cool stuff on your membership page. People Come are doing around. like. Um, different market pop-ups, people have cool mugs, cool pieces. It's just really fun to see everybody. Look, and they speak Spanish. Do you know ah, Spanish? No, I don't speak Spanish. I don't know Spanish either, but I love it when y'all speak it. I speak a little bit of French. Un peu. Un peu. Mm -hmm. Je parle un peu Ooh. de français. Oh, that sounds nice. Right? Yes. Um, All right, so let's put that on and get our hands in clay. And then, we'll, then we'll get to talking and drinking, because guys, Emily's a potter. She it's knows me. how to throw putts. I went to BCU. Art school, the number one public art school in America. It was she a went great to. school. Were you a ceramic major? I was. I was a ceramics major. Was and a Blair Clemo major. your teacher? He was there, yeah. So my main teacher was Andrea. He was the guest on Third of the Lake, and he was really great. Uh, my main teacher was Andrea Keys Connell, which I'm sure many of you know her ceramics. She's wonderful. I love her dearly. Uh, but Blair was there too, and I worked with him also. But I mainly worked with Andrea. I taught some classes. Is she still in with Richmond? Her. She's in North Carolina now. Okay. So she's teaching in Appalachian State. Okay. She's great. Well, I'm going to throw some color clay mug, color clay sort of mugs. And members have been requesting how to do handles and how to attach handles. So I figured tonight I could throw some mugs. So later in the week, all my members, I'll do a video on how to pull and attach handles. But. I am going to do some thrown handles today. So right now I'm going to do just a small little vessel, but then what I'm going to do is a thrown handle. So I really didn't like pulling handles when I was starting to make A lot of people, it's weird. Yeah. It's challenging. It's it feels awkward. odd. Sometimes it's kind of bumpy. It doesn't get quite right. If you don't feel comfortable with it, sometimes it doesn't look how you want it to look. So I decided to learn how to do it on the wheel. So I threw handles. And I love Guys, y'all hear that so. new tip tonight, how to throw your handle. Yeah, it's pretty fun. With I like Emily it. Wicks. Check her out, guys. <laughs> Guys, Emily and I met. Do y'all remember how I do the Molly show? Oh my gosh! She's oh actually M Molly. I am. M Molly. <laughs> because it's Molly, Molly, Molly. All Molly, three Molly, Molly makers. Molly. And M Molly was like yeah. our fairy godchild that helped us. It and was so much you fun. Were, you were like the fourth Molly. I was the fourth Molly. I called her. I'll always love you, Molly. Molly. Great beginning. I told all the Mollies that I was a Molly. I was like, yeah. you can't not be a Molly. Molly. I know. It was so fun. I love the Molly show. It's usually in the That's winter. It's such a good show. It's so fun. It's just fun. I remember the like one of the first ones we did, we all just like at the end of it we're sitting around chatting. Yes. Like <laughs> That's when you named yourself Emily. And I was like, You're my but not in Molly. So uh, how often do you cone when you're throwing? I cone up and down until my clay feels real smooth. Yeah. So recycle clay, I cone up and down a lot longer. Yeah, that's This true. is brand new. I just wedged it. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like I don't really ever Good wedge uh, like normal clay. Normal you clay. don't ever wedge it, like even from the box? Or I don't ever cone it. Uh, oh, cone I feel like it. I don't you ever push really the cone. Cone. I, just push I don't know. I just feel like coning is like, I love you. <laughs> and we're going to cone, and then you're going to be ready. And that's it's like a thing. moment to like get it together. Totally. And all of it too. Like not just like parts of it. You're like, okay, all of us, we're, we're all good. together. We're doing it. It's all good. There's not something hiding and lurking. Yeah. We're good. And, but if you're throwing for like trying to get enough mugs in an hour, you should probably just push the center. Oh yeah. That's the thing. I think when you're really like speeding on something, you want to just push the center. But if you're doing something like you're working with recycled clay, 
Um, you're worried about the peas having some air pockets. You're gonna do something crazy and big, like. Maybe Which you said, okay, so Emily at first is like, I've been throwing tiny. And then oh. we, she gets here and she's like, so I can also do a really big. <laughs> I could do easy. Oh my gosh, big. what should we do tonight? I want a bit big, of both. Tiny, let's do it all. Ooh. So what are you doing now? Because I'm doing a mug, colored clay, swirled, colored clay, swirled mug. I'm going to do a little vase. So this isn't super tiny, but I'm just going to do a vase here. And then I'm going to break this amount in probably three pieces. Ooh. So it's like tiny. Tiny. Like really See, tiny. I always do tiny, like throwing off the hump. Yeah, I feel like it's so. If you throw, I always if you see me teach a beginner, I always say start with your handful because that's good. So everybody's handful is different. Totally. But throwing too tiny or too big is challenging. So it can be this really is hard. yeah, that's even challenging because it's smaller than a handful. I I don't know. I love throwing really really small. I think it's because when I was first learning how to throw. I was having issue kind of making these bigger pieces that I wanted and I would have this little bit left over and I would just determine to make something with it. So I would always oh. just make, I would always get really good at making something tiny. I think we've all been there. Like where you throw and you're like, oh, it broke. Let me cut the lip off. Oh, it broke again. Yeah. Oh, let me. But and then you're I'm like, so I'm like, just going to do it. We actually, okay, so I know it's bad to tell secrets, so. I don't know if you saw that or not, but we have our student art show on Monday. Okay. Okay. So our student art show is Monday. I'm so excited. And talking about throwing small, one of our students, I've, I've shown definitely on Molly Sanders Ceramics, I feature Jude Cavani. She does these little tiny, little tiny, little tiny. And, all and hand thrown? So all hand thrown and trimmed. She puts her little earbuds on and she, like, nobody talked, like, I'm like, yeah, do you, do you like zone out and put headphones on? I don't, I never do. do. I, got, you know, I got the Matt Gala. Oh, look, yeah. who's that? Oh, Guys, we're watching. Yeah. It's all gold and leafy. We saw Lady Gaga's we did see transformation. Her, like, we're watching. Like, oh, oh, look, Argentina. Tell them what kind of wine you're drinking. Who's your guest? I am drinking Argentinian wine. Argentinian wine. What was the wine that we got? That one. Oh, I should, you have a bottle. It is. I'm going to circle Argentina. Bonarda. I'm probably saying that completely. Show them the bottle. Well, okay. no. We, we're good. We're good. But that's the cut. Because <laughs> we... But this is my guest, Emily Wicks. Hi. I've been tagging her in my stories. Emily Wicks. She's a local Richmonder. Oh, hand thrown just joined. <laughs> that's her, her Hi, studio. Alexis. She's co-owner <laughs> of hand thrown, a local Richmond Ceramic clay studio. studio. Yeah. Community clay studio. It's pretty Probably. great. She's 25. 25. It's me. Jeez. So where? Argentina. 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 I just haven't been erasing oh, where y'all do. Rona. Ciao. Rona, ladies. Ciao. Where are you from? The person who said ciao. 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 ciao you gotta be from somewhere cool. Italy. I hope Rome. So. <laughs> I'm watching it hard. <laughs> We're also watching the Met Gala. Who else is watching the Met Gala? Oh, you've got to watch the Met Tell Gala. Tell us when Kim or Beyonce come on. Yeah, let us know. We're just going to be throwing Because we're not really tuned in. My son's graduation is the 11th, and he's taken a job in Richmond. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations. So people always ask me, where can I take a class? Guys, hand thrown. Come take a class. So explain your situation. Could, if, let's say that this kid, okay. your son. Oh, Sweden. Hi, Sweden. Oh, that's new, right? Sweden. We, they, they, Sweden tunes in. Uh, we Sweden got you, Sweden. Sweden. <laughs> we love you, Sweden. So let's say someone. So wanted, let's say this okay. kid. He's welcome to Richmond. It's RBA. It's the best. Um, he's a potter. He wants to throw. Yeah. Can okay. These are questions I get. Can people just fire at your studio? Like they have a wheel, but they don't have a kiln. Can totally. they fire? So that's something that right now what we have is we have classes and we have memberships. So we have one day classes. You've never done it before. You just want to try it. We have continuing clay. You've done it. You want some guidance. Continuing clay. Yeah. So you've done it. You have guidance. You know what you're doing, but you want to still have people kind of around helping, talking about different techniques. Maybe you run into a problem while you're working. They help you figure it out. So is that a class or is it an independent class. time? Okay. So that's an eight-week class. So okay. that can kind of almost act as your independent time if you want it to. Um, it's really wonderful to be able to kind of have that ability to work within the space, but then also nice. kind of have your knowledge to start. Yeah. So we have that. We have jewelry making. Uh, we have so many different fun classes. So I would say we don't have firing clients at the moment. There's so many other great spaces. That's hard town. to find. Where do, would you recommend to go? Because so, we have students who have wheels, but they don't have kilns. Yeah. So I don't know where to tell them to go. Rosewood Pottery has oh. it. Viz Arts has it sometimes. 
Um, but it just depends on the space. So, okay. so Rose that's would. one thing. Rosewood definitely has it, but um, we're working on offering that because we get a lot of people asking. Kilns are expensive. They're not mm -hmm. something that, you know, maybe you love throwing, maybe you're really excited about it, and you're really, you find a wheel, you know, you're able to work at a studio, but a kiln itself is something that is a real investment. So that's why it we is. love having this community and space. And a kiln can be scary. You're like, am I yeah. going to burn my house down? <laughs> you don't know what you're doing totally. It's just a big piece of equipment. Look, new gym director at Compel Fitness. Fitness. Thanks for watching our pottery I'm show. Send my girlfriend your way. Send his girlfriend your way, Molly. Huh. I guess to come huh. look at your work. Okay. Why I not? don't have a storefront, though. I like Pamela's I have it on my web shop, but it's down right now from Arts in the Park, which, guys, thanks. it was so fun. So many of you were like, oh, I follow you, and that was so fun for me. Y'all are so cute, and I just enjoy, um, oh, that's my sister texting. It was so nice to have my sister in town. Um, Where is she from? Charleston, South Carolina. So you see I got, like, just, like, a little bubble baby thing. Yeah, so you threw it first, nice and thin, and then you shaped it. Yeah, so I threw it. I kind of threw it as a little, like, cylinder, a little bit top, um, smaller on the top, a little bit bigger on the bottom. Then I worked it in, and I made these curves. So I just pressed out with the inside of my hand. Look at that hand, too, supported. guys. That hand is beautiful. <laughs> I was telling Molly, when I throw... With my pinky out. And go check out Emily Wicks page. Is it just it's at Emily Wicks? It's Emily E. Wicks. Emily E. Wicks. Yes. Yeah. Emily E. Wicks. Check out her. Her in this shape is so Emily. <laughs> and her hand is so Emily. And I, I always love it when somebody has that signature, like, I recognize that. It's and I fun when you recognize can tell. Emily's hands and pots. I had someone. She's an RN, needs pottery lessons. Relax. Oh, I'm doing one workshop this summer at Trinity. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. It's a two day. And the first day, Wix, that's right, that's spelled right. It's yes. Emily, E M I L Y E, Wix, W I C K S. That's just Emily right. E. Wix. I've tagged her in my stories and I'll tag her in this after, but you'll check her out. About to open a community art space in Oklahoma. Oh my gosh, love Molly yes. Hander yes. and Molly for Inso. Love this collab. I love this yes. collab. Cheers. I just spoke with my partner Ethan, and he got your message, and he was so excited. To your know partner you Ethan. I remember the first beginnings of Ethan. So cute. I do remember that at a throne with Molly. That's when you were in Molly. That was when I was in Molly. We had just met. He was just a cute boy. He was so cute. He's still cute. But. He's still cute. Y'all are cute together. Follow them just for their cuteness. <laughs> Look, hello, Hi. Henry North. How are you? Wink face. Is that a wink or no? Oh, that's like, just a smile. smile. I love him. It's a nice smile blush. All right, so I usually do mugs one pound, but I felt like my mugs were really not as large as I wanted the volume to be on the inside. So tonight these are on one and a half pounds. It's funny how but much I'm like, you Whoa, can tell the Whoa, this is a lot more. I don't know that I wanted it this big. I know it's crazy how much that half pound really, really makes a difference. I mean, it's half what you were using, so it makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it really makes a difference. So, so I'm like here with this piece, and I've got this little lip flaring out. Mm -hmm. I do this with most of my pieces. I let that lip happen, and then I just go back at the end and I clean it up. I think that's just such a normal yeah. end finishing technique. It's the same as like finishing my lip, compressing it, making sure it's all good, going back in, kind of messing with the base, making sure it has the right angle that I want. What do you think about like when it comes off the wheel? Are you is it pretty much the form you want it, or do you do some trimming? Oh, I trim my pieces a lot. Me too. I, like I trim, trim a lot. Um, I have a Giffen grip, and I love it. Um, the reason I love it so much is because... But your pots aren't always centered if you're shaping them. Aren't they kind of wonky sometimes? The base is normally... Oh my gosh, Jared Leto is doing That's something. Jared Leto? With a head. Wait a minute. <gasps> Guys, we're watching the Met Gala, because we know we have some competition tonight, the Met Gala, so we're not missing out. Whoa, that's crazy. Uh, I just followed you. I'm from Peru. Yeah, Norella, oh, she's one of my members. Norella Ceramics. Peru. We chat all the time. I need to see your oh, stuff. Oh, Norella Ceramics. Let's ask Emily, okay? okay? I'm going to ask Emily your question that we've been talking about with Norella. I want to hear it. Slaps. Oh. See? Already? <laughs> already! Okay, so she's okay. made these beautiful slab cheese boards. Okay. And they have warped yeah so what are the tips and tricks to preventing a slab cheese board from warping it's hard warping is hard i mean that's flat it depends on the size it depends on the thickness of the slab 
I would say maybe your slab's too thin. Maybe you're not letting it dry enough. Like maybe or it's too, really too fast. Yeah, too fast. Like you're making it too fast. Um, like yeah, you're having it dry too quickly. You need more time for it to dry. Um, one thing I do too is put it on something that I know is a really flat, solid surface. Okay. So like a really, really sturdy piece of like melamine board. I'll put my pieces on that. Explain so melamine because she's from Peru. So melamine is like a white surface on top of wood, and it's going to be something that wicks away water. So whereas wood would maybe like soak in the water, it almost acts like plaster where it's going to have the water kind of come off the top. So that's something that if you don't want your pieces to dry out, put them on a melamine board. Um, if you want to work with plaster, always never work with them together. But if you work with plaster, you put that on a melamine board. That's something that I'll use for my pieces if I want them to kind of keep their moisture a little bit. Oh, compress. She said compress. Alexa, she said That's compress. That's hand-thrown. That's <laughs> Emily Wiggs partner and her community place to you. Hand-thrown. So Follow compress them. your slabs. Um, you want to, yep, it's called melamine here. Tee -hee -hee. Oh, it is. Okay, because we've talked about ceramics terms too. Because there's difference, yeah. And I love learning totally. new words. But I would say, yeah, make sure it's on a flat surface. It's really, you let it dry really slowly. Make sure you compress it. Compress. Take that rib. Take that Wipe rib. it. Wipe it. it Chris, good. this way, that way. Both ways. This way, that way. Can't compress <laughs> enough. Flip it, yeah. reverse it. You, you can never compress enough, like ever. And, and I like sure. to compress with a round edge, not the sharp corner. Yeah, the sharp edge leaves these little lines sometimes when I'm compressing. That curved edge really helps. Big difference. Yeah. And um, well, just thank you, time. Emily. I oh, try all yay. of these tips. All well, you get. Please those photos. I hope it's good. Yeah, she. I'll show you her cheese tray. Okay, good. I love I love the members. The members are so fun. <laughs> it's fun to interact with it's people so like fun. that. It's the most rewarding. It's thing so to see rewarding. Get it. All the ways. All the ways. Try them all. And try let them us know. All. They're let all helpful. Know. Okay, so I'm getting him this clay off. Yeah, that cute little guy. And guys, Emily said she's going smaller. She's taking this one ball, which is tiny. Smaller. And she's going to make three out of them, you yeah, said. Yeah, three. I'm going to make three tinies. And a lot of you ask, how do I throw tiny? Do you throw small things? And we're, we're about to see how Emily does it. There's so many ways. I don't do it off the hump normally. I'll do it off the which hump after this. That, but you, yeah. That's the, I think it but I don't sense. throw tiny because I like functional and I feel like what do you do if it's something that tiny? It's I just, just decorative. Have, I love it for like a little flower. Like, a li oh, like, like one, one little flower from your garden. And guys, you got to check out her page. Her whole like aesthetic and like the white. <laughs> Y'all know I love white and like she does the white and I it's just it. beautiful. I and like it so much. natural lighting and like the little. The hands, got to have the hands. The hands make hands. such a difference. But she has a you nice hand. Yeah. She has a nice hand. I, I can't, I <laughs> try, nice try. Hands? Not like yours. You're like a ballerina. You nice hands. You're like a ballerina hand model. A ballerina hand yeah, model. Yeah, if you were a type of person, your hand would be a ballerina <laughs> hand model. <laughs> That's pretty good. Are you yeah. both left-handed? Righties. This right is your image. See the map? Yeah. It's backwards. So we're both right-handed. Right. Right. But if you are teaching someone, obviously right now we're mirrored, but if you mm -hmm. teach someone and you're right-handed, then they're just, they're left-handed, they're doing the exact thing that you're doing because they're seeing it. And my coworker is left-handed and she just learned how to throw righty because she said the world is built for righty, so she learned yeah. to throw righty and she's a lefty. So I love having that in my back pocket with left-handed students. I'm like, oh, well, Miss Chaplin's lefty, she throws right. You're fine. <laughs> you're you can fine. Do it. And if it's too hard, then we can switch the wheel. But switching yeah. the wheel is a pain. I have people who... I just attach a handle to two mugs <gasps> for the very first time, hoping they turn out after oh, they fire. any tips for handle attachment? Okay. And, oh, shoot. It seems like the wheels are spinning realize? opposite. Everything's opposite. Everything's yeah. opposite. We mm -hmm. put the aprons on backwards. Yeah. A handle. Emily, when do you... I realize you wanted to use one. These are all good questions. Let's talk about the handle yeah. first. Your tips. And then tell us about how you got into clay. So handles, just how I said I want to throw a handle, attaching handles was really hard for me at first too because my handles would always crack. So I would always have cracking around just that connection point between the cup and the handle and it always made me so upset because I made this really beautiful mug. I was so excited, this great handle, I was so excited, I put it together and then they cracked at the end. And you I see like, that little, oh. <laughs> yep. like, no. So one thing is like drying those really slowly. So when you get them at the right moisture level, so your cups at the right moisture level, your handles at the right moisture level, but both about leather hard. Ooh. That's our time for questions and the map where y'all are from. Let me go get my phone. I like all these uh, rings. rings. I have to say on, on 
My students will tell you, I'm like a scheduled time person. Who's that at the Met Gala with the back out and the pink dress? Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, I feel like it's bad because I don't know most I don't people, know but it's also But it's fun to fashion. see the fashion. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you were saying. So with a handle, one thing that I always try to make sure is that my... Oh, thank you. Um, one thing I always try to make sure is that my clay on my cup and on my handle are the same moisture. Like they're both the right amount of dryness. They're both the same or close. I won't, won't want something I just threw and then a handle that's been sitting out for like five hours to go together because that's going to be something really, really dry with something really, really wet. So I want to make sure that they're the same moisture level and then I want to make sure I'm compressing them really well. So I attach them really well with slip. I make sure that when I'm doing that, I'm really cleaning it all up. I'm compressing those connection points. I do it with a dry brush first. So oh, love, yeah. love the detail of a brush. <laughs> dry brush first. You go through with the dry brush. Alexis taught me that one. You do it with the dry brush. You can also do vinegar in your slip mm -hmm. if you have problems with cracking. And then you can go back and keep compressing with a little, like a damp brush, like kind of wet brush. But really you just those details. can't stop compressing. You can't stop cleaning up. There's so much that you can do. And I'm making these colored clay swirl handles, and I avoided these for so long. My mother yeah. has been telling me forever, you need to make colored clay swirl tons. You need to make colored clay swirl tons. I'm like, Mom, this you don't get it, Mom. The squaring and slipping <laughs> of the handle is going to ruin yeah. the, the... So and, how did you get through that? I Y'all know I'm not a neat, tidy <laughs> person. I do not like attention to detail. So look at that. Tiny, look at that. Look at that little, that's what, she, that is tiny. That's, that's as hard as throwing like a 50 pounder. Yeah. It's tiny, it's small, but tiny. I think it's fun. I have fun with it. So you just So got I <laughs> have to now be more tidy and okay. I have to be more attention to detail. Totally. A good thing to remember too. Do you use vinegar. To you can. People do it. I don't. I personally don't do the vinegar. If you really have problems with the cracking, I would put some in your slip. That's one thing that our studio has slip with vinegar and slip with really? vinegar. Really? I haven't even seen people just use vinegar, no slip. Oh, yeah. David Camden. I never heard of it. Oh, yeah, David Camden. Love David Camden. He's, He's been on here, guys. Oh, I, tried to, I tried to find, yeah, he came on here and he did a big sectional. We had double him. torching. It was so fun. See, I always get so close to my wheel. I'm always, like, down here. But she said it works. You have the vinegar. I never, heard of it. I never do it. I but do. Guys, Wait, what do we what love? What are your favorite forms to throw? Good question. Actually, that question was, I didn't answer questions. That was one of the questions that came in tonight. Favorite form to throw. Favorite form Which to you? Throw. I love a big bowl. I love, like, the, the photo that I posted that I was like, I can't wait to throw, like, a big, beautiful, beautiful. Like, like, really tall, thin bowl. So it's kind of tall at the top here, and then it goes in really nice. And clean. I don't know. I just love a big bowl. I love being able to have one. And we got with pasta. how many pounds would you do for a pasta bowl? Pasta. Well, I like a lot of pasta. <laughs> for so. a pasta bowl. Uh, six pounds. I know that seems like a lot, but I trim a lot. I might even say I trim seven. a lot. Yeah. I mean, it depends on my size of a pasta bowl. So if it's a serving dish, maybe it's closer to ten or twelve pounds. But if it's a single pasta bowl for like one person, maybe I'll do six pounds, seven pounds. Emily, how do you release? Oh, how did you realize oh. you wanted to be a ceramic artist? We thank you, Norella, oh, yeah, for bringing that back up. Thank you, thank y'all. <laughs> uh, so I was when I was in high school. So I grew up in, in Seattle. Seattle, but then I moved to Charlottesville. So just an hour outside of so Richmond. random. I know, right? Um, so I, I grew up in Seattle, I moved to Charlottesville, I went to high school, as everybody does. Okay, so you but did all four years in Charlottesville? Mm -hmm. I did okay. all four years in high school Which I guess Seattle and Charlottesville, they're both like nature mm -hmm. Totally, they're both, like I see a lot of parallels between the two of them. I think like um, Seattle is very similar to Charlottesville, but Charlottesville is just a much more small town, it's more southern. Um, yeah. Those are really the big differences I see, it's smaller, more southern, but... They're really similar. They have a really good arts community. They're really vibrant, really fun, cool places, lots of nature. Um, but so I went there for high school. I loved being in the arts, so I did choir. I did so many choirs. I was section leader of the Sopranos in choir. I just love singing. So I did ceramics. I did choir. I just was in all of the arts. And then when I did ceramics, I just fell in love. So I took to wheel throwing. I loved it. I went to VCU. 
Did you apply like to the ceramic program? Well, so with BCU, you apply to the art school, and you take one year that's a foundations year. Okay. So that year, they make you do all kinds of different artwork. So I did a video class. I did a drawing oh. class. I did a sculpture class. I did all of these different things. And then I got to apply to my major, so I applied to... So you had a year to figure it out. I like yeah. that. It's nice because it makes you try so many different things, so you don't just get, like, one side of it. Maybe you go into it and then realize you want to do something else. Yeah, somebody says, which so I guess she, that's how she found out, her love for ceramics was in high school. Yeah. And then she went on to explore College, it. Somebody yeah. said, what's your advice about marketing yourself as an artist? I think that you just have to be as genuinely you as possible and show how much you love what you're doing and kind of show your process from start to finish all the time. Um, be super open about sharing it. Make sure that you're showing good content all the time of what you're doing and just don't be shy about sharing it. I think that's one thing is people love to see all of the process. What do you think? What's your advice? Um, I think, um, so I love reality TV and celebrities, <laughs> and I try to be like, hmm, like, okay, if a new Bravo show is coming out, how do they market it? Huh, okay. How like, do they I love it? Below Deck. Okay, I don't And all of us, okay, what about the Interpump Girls? No. What about The Real Housewives? Mm -mm. What about Annie Cohen Live? I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, guys, y'all know I love Bravo TV, and it's embarrassing, maybe, as it's most not people don't watch TV. it. People love TV. But I love it. I and love Gilmore Girls. Oh, so see, much. I don't know. And, about. like, people, some people don't know about Gilmore Girls. Okay, so Gilmore Girls, like, how do you know a new season's coming out or a new episode? They, like, show a glimpse. It's not a really They're old like, show. Oh. But. <laughs> But they did, so they did just recently have a new Netflix series, and they showed glimpses of it. They yeah, showed and, like, you get excited. Yeah. So, like, for this third with Molly, I try to remind y'all. I try to do a recap, and I try to document them so you can go back and see past episodes and and be consistent. I think consistency is the key to anything. That's really true. Oh, look, Toronto. Oh, Ontar hello. Ont Ontario, Canada. Thank you. That's awesome. I love, and that's one of the things to tell us where y'all are from, and you can see all the circles of where y'all have been tuning in from. I here. love that, like, I mean, looking at looking at my face just then, I was just like, <laughs> it's just oh my gosh, it's so funny, right? But at least it's on an iPad, so you know. So do you it. see this? You see what I'm doing right now? Oh no, I, oh my god, I haven't been watching. You see my tiny, tiny finger with my pinky out? I see it all. Tiny, and it's a big pie for being so tiny. I know, isn't it? I'm just bringing it up straight up. So what's your tip it. for throwing tiny? Because they ask a lot, how do you throw tiny? Hi, Kuwait. Hi, oh, Kuwait. Well, that's cool. I think for throwing tiny, you need to be able to really make sure that your non-dominant hand is mm. in there. So I think, like, some people... She's a righty. This I'm is backwards. So your non-dominant so, hand yeah, your non -dominant is your hand. left hand because your right hand is anchored. So in. my right hand's here. Mm -hmm. And you need to make sure that your left hand, your non-dominant hand, whichever you are, for me it's my left hand, you want to make sure that you can really get it straight in because I'm doing a really small, thin, tall figure. So it looks like I'm just putting my hand straight down. But all of my fingertips, all of my pads are getting in there and they're really pressing and compressing so I'm able to make my moves. So I think that's the biggest thing with tiny is like it's the difficulty of having your hand in there and kind of like working like Do you ever <laughs> use a throwing stick? I've never used a throwing no. stick. No. But it's really easy to make a throwing oh, stick. Tasmania. Tasmania. Okay, wait, where are we? Ontario, we got you, and then Kuwait. Yeah, Kuwait. That Kuwait's tuned in before. You're Let's somewhere see. here, Kuwait. Where is Kuwait? Where is Kuwait? Tell us where Kuwait is. Give what are you next to? Tell us all the continents. I'm sorry, countries next to you, Kuwait, and Tasmania, Australia. I think. Tasmania, Australia. That's I know Australia is over here. Oh, Tasmania at the there very bottom. Go. Kuwait. Oh, UK. The UK. UK. Y'all tune in. We got you. We, we got, got you. you. UK. Tasmania, Australia. Yeah, Kuwait. Tell Kuwait. us more. One more look. One more look. You gotta be it's somewhere. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be somewhere in this area. Kuwait. We're looking for Kuwait. Help us. <laughs> We're looking for Kuwait. Oh, in the corner of Arabian Gaul. The Arabian, Arabian Gaul. Gaul. Clearly I need to visit the Middle East, the corner of any Gaul. So I'm just looking for a corner of a Gaul. Corner of a Gaul. Kuwait. It's, it's gotta 
want to be got here. Up a of oh, we found it! Yes! Kuwait! Congratulations, <laughs> <laughs> Kuwait! That's our biggest accomplishment. Woo! Kuwait! Okay. I've Thanks for tuning in from Kuwait. Oh, and yeah. cheers. Thanks for coming to Kuwait. Guys, it's so fun to have Emily Wicks, another local potter and a young entrepreneur. She's only 25 and owns her own community clay studio. Lots of artists there, lots of people learning for the first time. Storefront, you can go shop. Yeah, we have a web shop too, so you can look online if you don't want to look in person. Pennsylvania. We ship Next to our rock, Saudi, Bahrain, Qatar, somewhere Next around there. Somewhere around that. We found it, we found it. Yes, Thank we you. We found it. We found Kuwait. Y'all, this is so fun. Oh, who's at the Met Gala? Wonder Woman looking person. Oh yeah, we do have the Met Gala on and she is giving us I Wonder Woman with those is. arm cuffs and the red dress. Beautiful dress. Are y'all watching the Met Gala? Sorry for the spoiler alerts. All right, so guys, we're on here. Emily's throwing tiny, I'm throwing colored place world mugs. My members, if you're a member, if you're not a member, click the link in my bio. It's such a great clay community. It's been so fun for me. Oh, hey, South Korea. Oh, hello. But it's the, fun to see all the people's work. From all over. Everybody, them. I'm amazed at y'all, my members. I'm amazed. And y'all are all over. So now I have a new dream in life. Let's I already dream. told Emily. I already told you. Oh, yeah. I already know your dream. My new dream in life is to have a member meetup. Like, because everybody's from all over the world. So how fun is that? Be? That would be so much fun. Where do you want to meet up? Love your membership. So helpful. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for being a member. And, guys, one of my members came to Arts in the Park, and it was such a treat. Such a treat. And she actually gave me some great ideas. I mean, I'm learning from y'all, and I do not know everything. Yeah. And I love that she told me. She's like, I love that you say you don't know everything. I'm like, I don't I don't nobody, know everything. Nobody knows everything no. about it. And you find what works for you. And that's why I feel like the membership's a good thing and a fun thing, because I'm just one more teacher in your teacher toolbox. You can, so Emily could be another teachers. teacher. Come learn. And David Camden, all these people we bring on. Well, we all do the same thing, and you can learn something different from the same process. Look, let's meet up at a Yeah. Zoom Oh, oh yeah. Meet up. Yeah. Heck yes. Guys, can we talk about this? It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good, but I feel like a slacker. Okay, what do you, you leave the shine on? I'm always like, if you leave shine, you're going to come back to the crack. Oh, you're no. not worried. I leave my shine. She's not worried. Who's going to check her boo? You don't even know what that is. <laughs> Real housewives. <laughs> Y'all know. <laughs> Who's going to check me, boo? But okay, so in Sika's coming to Richmond. Did you yeah. apply? Are you doing anything? Because I did it. Yeah. I'm like, it's in June. When? To apply? Well, to so it or I am oh, curating work for, I'm curating shows for Brick Gallery, so we're going to have shows there. Okay. So I'm curating some shows there. Okay. I'm also. So can I still apply and get into that, maybe? Well, so we sent stuff out, but you'll be, a, you will have your stuff there. So we'll have okay. your stuff in the shop, for sure. Okay. So. So I'm not nowhere. No, she's going to be there. Okay. Um, so. Then we have stuff at the studio, so we're gonna have stuff at the studio. Oh, fun! Oh, then, fun! Are you gonna have a party or anything? Oh yeah, we're gonna have a big party. Like people can come by, hang Maybe out. Maybe we can do a meetup we'll there. Open. You should totally do a meetup. Hang yeah, out. We gotta have a venue. But so, let's see what else is happening during Insika. Insika. So you can apply. I'm also helping out with the committee for Insika. So um, I'm helping out as a volunteer. They're getting volunteers from so many different ceramic artists all over the community. Um, they have their main core group of people who are their committee members who are yeah, doing Yeah, Kelly that. Kerr was a guest on Third of she's, she's one of the, like, head She's, like, the main job. person. Blair's doing it. Jason Hackett. Jeff Vick yes. is doing it. Mm. Susie Gaunch. There's so many great oh, people. Um, but then there's great volunteers who are just helping out, trying to do what they can. So I'm a volunteer. I'm trying to help. So there's two things. There's a concurrent show that you can just apply. You say, I have this idea. I have this show proposal. Would you put it somewhere at a venue in Richmond? And that was due Ooh. in April. And then there's another one due June 1st. And that is, I have this idea. I have this show that I've curated. And I have a space. So I'm going to submit it with this oh. venue June 1st. And I would like you to put me and my show on the map. On the map. So you could even do it at your studio. You yeah. You could even do it, you know, somewhere. At Trinity. At, at Trinity. You could do it somewhere that's, like, close in Richmond area, somewhere that's somewhere You don't need it to do anything. You just need to, like, have you your idea in your space and, and everything. You just need to submit it. And they'll put you on the map. All right. Well, what about the deadline to submit to, like, present? Because Amy Chaplin and I, my coworker, we all, when we left the last in Cinco, we were like, we were going to present at Richmond. And now it's like. There's so much going on, and I don't know that if we missed the deadline or not. Hi, Turkey! Oh my god! I wonder how long I can hold my wedge clay balls. Sometimes, Sometimes they get really hard. Are you wrapping them You've in plastic? You've got to wrap them in plastic. And always reuse your plastic. plastic. No holes. Airtight. No wrap them up. And always reuse that plastic. You never want to have, like, you can always reuse plastic. 
You gotta. You don't have to get it too dirty. Yeah, and you can always rinse it off. But my favorite plastic is dry cleaning plastic. Yes. It's so soft. And my friend Jessica at Wardrobe Richmond. <laughs> and it's easy she to She dry tear. cleans. It's I don't dry clean. Tear. So this clay, how much clay would you say this is? Or are you going to guess? Oh, God. Guessing at least. Guess. Let me take a guess. Do you have an idea? I I'm have a look. thought in my mind, but I don't know. I'm going to say sure. if this was one and a half, I'm going to guess four. I'm going to guess... Five and a half. Okay. I have a scale. Should we test it? I'll do the scale. <laughs> Who's, I said, what did I say? You said four. four. Oh, shoot. Said now I'm going to guess again. Can I hold it? Yeah. See if you hold it. Oh. See what I mean? I okay. was thinking six, but I said five and a half because you said four. Shoot. Well, let's just guess. I think I'm under. See, three pounds? Someone they said, said four, four to five. five. I said four. She said five and a half. I let's get the scale. Half. You know what? I think it's going to be five or just under five now that we've both gone. Oh, look at this chandelier. Who is that? Guys, we're watching the Mac Gala over here. Yeah, so we have the TV here with the Mac Gala going four to five pounds. Scale. Okay, I think we're scale. all going to be... Scale, 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 Any scale. last guesses? <laughs> Any last guesses? No, we got to okay. get this level. Yeah, we Let's, can set it up okay. here. Okay, y'all can see the number before we do. Here's one half pound. No, I'm sorry, zero. <laughs> half pound, one. Let's see, I say four, and she said five. So let's five. see where it goes. I'll hold my finger. This is my guess. She referenced. She referenced. Okay. See, I said that I knew weight so well, and you got it. You got it. I had no idea, though, until I guessed. So, oh, yeah, 4.4, 4, she's saying. We're kind of, like, tied. Totally. It's pretty much tied. And I always, whenever I have a big amount of clay, I always do that slap. Dry to dry to dry. I slap the enter. I hate, it always makes a super loud sound. Yeah, that's the first like, step. Don't skip any step. I if know. you skip a step, it always comes back. You cannot. Hi, ladies. Hey, Brad. Hello. 416. I never weigh clear. Wait, here's See, I don't weigh it either, but I just know it by, I guess it. I only weigh if I know what I, like if I'm making mugs, so I yeah. doubled my one pounders. I should have not, 90 pounds. <laughs> but then you could cut them down too. And I, then, I did cut You know what them. you could do? You could cut, so let's say like this is your mug. You make mm -hmm. it bigger, but it's too tall. You make it the right width, but it's too tall. You could cut that ring, and that ring could be a handle. Oh, yeah, because you were going to do that. And I'm going to do that. I'll do you're that. Doing that now? Okay, yeah, I'm doing a big one. Can, yeah, but you could do that for that. And I could I could shoot that, and then I also have a throw one. I can do both. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, you could technically do that because it's the same thickness. Well, here's the thing. I've cut. added color to this because, obviously, if you throw it and you can just cut it down to whatever size you want, but I don't want to waste my colored clay swirls. Oh, look, is that Kitty Perry? I don't know. Guys, we're watching the Met Gala, and there is someone as a chandelier. It's a lot. It's really cool. There's somebody who's a fire. A fire? <laughs> She's a fire. I think it's a peacock. Sorry, we're totally oh, spoiling there. I never weigh clay. Yeah. I love to not weigh my clay. Yeah, I, I love, weigh. if I have to weigh my clay, I'm like, <sighs> it's like we're going into battle. Okay, i got to weigh I my know. clay. I'm going to make 15 dinner plates, and I need five pounds each. I make, I use so much weight and so much clay for my Is she your plates. sister? Oh, hi. I guess we look like we should she's be sisters. Molly. She's in Molly. I'm a Molly, but I'm not a sister. The Molly show was at Court Gallery, which, guys, my favorite all-time gallery in Richmond was Court Gallery. It is Court Gallery. It's, like, so contemporary, beautiful, large, open window, contemporary so art. Fun. It's just fabulous. And the Molly show is at Quark, where I met Emily years ago. And now, fast so forward, Emily is a 25-year-old business owner of a community clay studio right down the street. Yeah, it's so cool. It's like by. I could walk. If I was locked out of my house, I'm going to walk to the studio. I know. So she's not my sister. She's just my friend. We're friends. My clay friend. My clay my entrepreneur. Friends. Did you see Molly and Bishop has a shirt that says, All my friends are ceramic? <laughs> you know, I, she was almost a guest. She's going to be a guest. Yeah? I can't wait to have her. I, she doesn't really throw, though. No, but I have everybody on here. You don't have to know how to throw. You're I mean, she fun. knows, but she she's just, fun. I don't, she just, she's such a good hand builder. She, I well, and I've only had one hand, do you know Pamela Reynolds? Um, I think so. I they have a game. Minutes, and I guess I'm going to weigh some fun little bit. Play this one. See, that's what we just we did. We just did that. It was fun. Won. Barely. I barely won. But I also cheated. Oh, that's the last timer. Guys, 
Come tell us where you're from. Minutes. Take 20 minutes. Okay, good. I'm 20 like, minutes. I still have stuff to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got lots to do. Okay, good. Um, oh, my sister, cool. guys, if you just, if you're at Arts in the Park, my sister, they keep telling me that I need to be tagging Ellen and sending my videos to Ellen, and they're like, Ellen, Ellen is your clientele, like, who, are, who else were they saying, they're like, that's not you, you need Ellen, you're wholesome. I love that you need Ellen. <laughs> who was I love it? They're like, not them. Do you dance like Ellen? Do you do the dancing? I would love to dance. You can have like a dance break and you're throwing with mommy. <laughs> I actually posted, I just did a little highlight of last week's episode, and okay. it was a dance highlight. Was like it? We, we just, you know, the music came on, and we were like, yeah, yeah it's a, I love see, a I dance feel like, party. Yeah. And my yeah, students joke at me, they're like, oh, you, like, if I say I love a party, they think it's funny. I'm like, I love a party. You love a party. I love a party. <laughs> Why not love a party? And dancing's at a party. Nancy's, dancing is a party. I add, I feel like I add a lot of water when I'm throwing. I feel like I throw. Can't throw a lot have too much water. water. Oh, yeah. I, again, if you're tuning in, guys, thanks. It's Monday night. It's Monday night. Night. This is episode 47. Oh, my God. Emily Wish. Hello. I'm throwing colored clay swirled mugs. I've doubled the weight. No. I just added a half a pound. I usually do one pound mugs. These are one and a half. And they're feeling huge. Yeah. Huge. Huge. But the shrink is. What's the shrinkage shrink, of this clay? 10%? Yeah. 10%? It does shrink. So this is the size mug I normally make. This is the one pound. So it's a little different. <laughs> this is the one pound mug. But think about all the extra coffee you can drink. Right, because sometimes I'm like, wine. I want more coffee than that. I do a big mug. I think I need a lot for my mugs. Like, I only drink coffee at work. I, I don't drink Starbucks. I think it's a cult. Yeah, I don't want to give them my money, and I don't want to speak their language. I don't know what I want. A grande shot of, I don't know. So, so what do you drink? What is your drink of choice? So, at school, we have a coffee area. Okay. And we have flavored creamers. Okay. So, I'm a French vanilla creamer. So, I like to... And then you open the cabinet and choose your mug. Oh. Even though I've been I've been purchasing my own mugs lately, and I just got a Stephen Summerville, and that was, I posted... That uh, was my I mug this morning. I love having lo mug collections from people. And feeling it and loving it's it and so feeling your good. vibe. So, I always look at the interior space for how much coffee I want. So, this would be like... A lot. Guys, Miss Sanders, good today. <laughs> She's got enough. She does not need any more. Look out. So, yeah. So, I'm kind of curious. These will be my biggest mug set ever. Biggest ever. Um, maybe I'm copying my dad because he threw this. Oh, yeah. You're going huge. in your dad's footsteps. Yeah. Don't tell him that. Oh my gosh, so at Arts in the Park, it was so fun to have my family, but if y'all know my dad, Frank, he's a character, and he <laughs> decided, you know, he what wanted to say? come, I love that my family wants to support, I love them, but my family what is funny, do? so my dad gets his little foldable chair, yeah. and like sits right, like close enough that he's like part of my group, but like far enough that like, he's not, he's like in the free territory, <laughs> and <laughs> And my little nephew was so excited to come help me, James. Aww. And my dad's like, James, tell him, tell him to buy the trees. James, tell him. And I'm like, can y'all stop? Can y'all stop? He's trying to sell it. See, He's trying it. to sell it. And I'm like, I don't like that. I got a little wobble in here. We got an air bubble. That's okay. We got a little air bubble. We're going to work it up. And you know what? We're going to cut it off. Oh, yeah. Nothing a needle tool can't fix. See, that's the thing. You see how it's going so slowly and just that top bit? Everything else is good, and this is a little top bit, so yeah. we're just going to... Nobody knows. Except for you. And you. you know, and your own clay. And y'all in Peru and Argentina and Kuwait. But that's it. That's it. No, this is... I really love at this point, like, if you get this and it's so exaggerated and you're cool to, like, stay with it, just make it a batter bowl. Make it a batter bowl. Make it, like, you know, make it a pouring spout. That's, like, I love being able to do that if you've got just a little bit of that extra... Make it a pouring spout, which I just made a whole batch of those because I made one for my mom. I don't, I listen to my mom maybe way too much, but she's also like my biggest critic and I feel like when I do listen to her, I'm like, okay, you're right, mom. But my mom, she has one of my pouring bowls and she loves it and she's like, Molly, you got to make more of these. So I just made all these pouring bowls and oh, they're really so fun. Sweet. Yeah, I started making them. So my partner, Ethan, who I'm with now, he would always make pancakes. He would always make me pancakes, which was so sweet. So then I started making so sweet. batter bowls. So that was probably a year and a half ago, maybe a year or two ago. 
God, has um, it been that long? Yeah, it's been that long. Oh my gosh. Isn't that crazy? So what yeah. are we making? I'm making color clay swirled huge mugs. And Emily just Emily <laughs> just made, and this is Emily Wicks. Emily E. Wicks. I, I've been tagging her follower. She is a 25-year-old business owner. She owns the hand dot throne. I always mix it up. I think I'm dyslexic. Um Hand dot throne, a community place to do enrichment. And look, she just made these. She the just threw tiny pieces. Me. She took this size and then like cut it down and then That's she made a third of that. That third. Yeah. And it now she's like, big. now we'll go big. Now I'll throw a four pounder. Now we're going to go big, which is four pounds, which doesn't sound big. But when you go from one and a third of a pound to four, it's so, so much more yeah. to work with. And then after this, I'm going to do like my throwing handles. <gasps> yes, that'll be fun. And if you're a member, y'all have been oh. requesting not only how to pull handles, because I've already posted a video how I pull my handles, but then y'all have been following up with, well, how do you attach your handles? So... Um, this week, I'm throwing these mugs, and I'll be attaching handles, so stay tuned, members. And if you're not a member, just click the link in my bio. I love the membership because it's just another way for you to add a teacher to your toolbox. I don't know everything. Have other, come take a class with Emily. Take a class from as many people as you can. And the membership is just a great, cheap way to do that. Add one more teacher. It's so much fun. I think doing that, having one-day classes, you know, there's so many ways you can build on your skill set. Even if you already feel confident in what you're doing with clay, you can always learn more. You and it's always been fun to have thrown with Molly and getting potters that come and like, hey, this is, try this. This is yeah. how I do it. And it's so fun because like what I love about art is it's not math. One plus one is not always yeah. two. There's so many different ways to do something. Like, oh, you've got a bad lip. Oh, cut it with a needle tool. Oh, make it into a pouring bowl. Oh, cut it, flip it, reverse it. There's so many options, so, so I can options. show you the pouring spot version, and then I'll show you the, the version of just cutting it off and saying, I'm not gonna have it. And I just love the artists that have been coming on here are that we're so lucky to have so many ceramic artists in Richmond. Because then when I think I back, I mean, there's been tour. so much. Yes, but I'm not doing that I'm because I don't that. support people that are supported by the clay tour. So I oh. am not supporting that. Um, but, there's so many ceramic artists. I met this guy this weekend. His ceramics name is Hot Rock. Daniel. That's pretty cool. Daniel someone. He's so cool. He's going to be a guest. I'm going to get him on here. But it's so fun to have all these ceramic artists come and, like, I learn from them. Like, I've had Pamela Reynolds and Emily Wicks and David Camden. See, and big old boring, like, batter yes. balls going on here. But you don't put handles on your batter bowls because you have those no. ballerina fingers that you're like, here, Ethan, let me, <laughs> let me pour your no, pancake I just, batter. I don't like having a handle on it. I feel like that was, I mean, when I first started making them was when I really had a hatred of handles and I made them with and I made them without and I really decided that without was my, the way the that thing. I liked it. That's how I thought it looked best. And, you know, I think that's kind of, I went from there and then the shape kind of took off. So what clay is this? This is the standard 181 white stoneware. It's what we use okay. at school. It's the only clay I've ever thrown with. People are like, oh, is that porcelain? Never thrown with porcelain. Never touched porcelain. It's like a painter who's never touched oil paints, I feel like. <gasps> Ocean City, Maryland. It's going to have Maryland. a new festival coming up called Jellyfish Festival. Ooh, Was that an art festival, festival or a music festival? Like something in the water. It's due, it has to do with art. Cool. That's awesome. Oh, well, something in the water. We're going to come up for the, yeah, we're going to come to out. Maryland. Oh, look, there's something in my clay, and that's just because I wedged, I guess. But this is new clay. That's a dry clay. It was, no, it's pretty good, but I hate getting a box of brand new clay, and it's hard. Oh, I know. Like, no, you were in plastic. You should not be hard. More concentration with these. I'm at a loss. More Met Gala. What is it? What do you want? What is happening? I don't know, but that was the, just the dance break. Yeah, so we are watching the Met Gala. I have yet to see Beyonce or Kim Kardashian, which, judge me, my sisters hate Kim Kardashian, but I love to see what she's wearing. We did see Lady Gaga. And I don't I know anybody else really the seen. woman of the night. Yeah, Lady Gaga made a statement. A performing artist, if you will. I wish I looked closer so I could take... Oh, yeah, oh, so this yeah. summer... Uh, your English is so better than whatever language you speak that I could speak. I yeah. I love it when people, like Spanish-speaking people, will say, oh, my English is so terrible, but how do you glaze fire this? I'm like, 
I would not know how to say that in no. Spanish or your language. Like, your English is better You're doing, yeah. than, I don't, yeah, your English is awesome. You're doing great. You're doing so good. I love it when people who don't speak English watch. It's good to. It's good to have that Because I love to travel and I love other yeah. people so watching. I've got my bowl here. I'm just going to do a little, I'm going to do my lip and then I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to show you the two ways Woo! I would do a little imbalance here, which I always say, like, you know, if there's a little bit of wobble, if there's a little imbalance, you can always work with it. You can always go to the end with your piece. You can cut the top off. You can make it flat at the end. You can kind of get that wobble up, that air bubble out, bring it to the top, and then cut it off, finish it up. Um, you see here, I'm just going to compress it. And then that's my lowest point. So that's my tallest point. I'm going to go over here. And then go to this. <gasps> ah! <laughs> and then look. Okay. She's got a little. You just like. You just did a. Yeah. Wait. Reverse. We need a better camera angle. <laughs> Slow mo. I just go. Bloop. You're like. Bloop. I just do like a. Like two fingers on the outside, one on the end, and it's like bloop. a K. Almost. Are your fingers wet, dry? My fingers are wet. And I'm just do you wet. have to over worry about over like it's a one time and just be done? Yeah, I just do it once and I'm done. And they actually pour really, really well. But so now I'm just gonna like smooth it out because I want to cut that off. Because instead of having a pouring bowl, I'm just gonna have a normal bowl. So I'm just gonna cut it. You're just gonna cut it. What do you think the number one language spoken in the world is? I feel like English because I've agree. traveled all over the world, Southeast Asia, Europe. I've not been to South America, Argentina. I'm coming for you. <laughs> or Peru. Argentina. Or Peru. I've got to go. But and they all speak English, and I feel like I need to learn another language because I only know English and everywhere speaks it. Needle tools. They're all yeah. Do you bend them? I do. You, <laughs> you bend them. I don't bend them. I you, um, use them when my pots are too dry. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what is happening? I will like, err. <laughs> so here I'm just going to cut. Okay. Look at you. Oh, wheel. Yeah, the wheel's a little sticky. Sticky wheel. I would guess Chinese. Broken English. Well, broken English, I Broken English, English is definitely the, probably the most. Yeah, I like to have it a little bit faster than this, but not too fast. Well, what's your favorite wheel? People ask me a lot, what's your favorite wheel? Because I have a, a Brent and a Shimpo. I've worked on Brents. I've worked on Shimpos. I think I like Shimpos better. Okay. Um, we, differ. Is, we differ. We differ. like Brents I love my Brent. I kind of hate the Shimpo. Really? Oops, said it. <laughs> Why do you hate your Shimpo? <laughs> it's not fast enough. The so, power is not what I wanted. Come back. I've got this here. Woo! So you, you cut the lip, and now you have this here. So now I could use this, and I could technically use this as a handle. So I'm going to, do you have a fettling knife? I can also just use a, yeah. this. I'm just going to use this okay. right now. But so I would use a fettling knife. Okay. So I just dropped it. I'll get that's a fettling okay. knife. That's okay. I have a, a towel right beside you, too, if you need to dry. Because look, I could just use this, and then I basically have a handle. And so you kind of pull it. I just clean it up you a little bit. I it dropped it, but basically, like I cut that off the lip of my piece, Whisper. and now I have a handle that could basically be the right thickness for my piece. It's nice and long. I can lay it out. I could put it on a little piece of newsprint, lay it out. Alexis taught me that trick. A little piece of newsprint, um, so I could lay it out and just have like it the flat on newsprint, mm -hmm. just like this. So like so I it doesn't dry too fast. Just like or? at a little angle here, kind of. Oh, like middle. on its side on newsprint. On its side. I on thought she was making a necklace. You could. Yeah, who knows? So, like, what I'm saying is you cut that top off, you clean it up a little bit, you put it the shape you want, and then it's the same thickness as the piece you just threw. So you've got Boom. this handle here. Boom. You don't have to worry about it. You could, I guess if you want, you could do, like, a little... Put, like, a little hole to make a necklace. You could. Get that gold chain. You totally could. But so I'm just going to finish this off. Guys, that's a whole other way to make a handle. Boom. It's fun. I like making handles that way. Just, like, cutting that top off. I'm a bold handle oh, girl. Gosh, I hate it pulling handles. Pulling. So I hated it. And when then did one, you love just like it? trimming. When I hated trimming. I was a strength major and could not trim a pot. They sucked. I trimmed what I call the donut that she made on top. I made moats. I removed oh. the foot. My brain just didn't work that way. 
Yeah. And um, so I hated it until I took a wood trimming class. And then I loved trimming because wood trimming and trimming, you start with a solid and a room. And I loved it. Then I loved trimming. So now I love to throw thick and trim more. Yeah. Love trimming. With Which people lace. judge you. Some, especially traditional potters, they'll judge you for not like throwing so thin and just cut it off. Like, I don't I know. Don't, I love to throw, like, have a little bit of thickness at my base because then I can really just create this height that maybe I couldn't get naturally on the wheel because I have too much thickness at the top, there's too much thickness at the width. You know, you can kind of mess with it. Yeah. I just love the idea that it really doesn't matter how Emily does it, how I do it. Totally. Does it work for you? It's whatever you like best. Does it work for you? If it works for you, then who will go and check you, boo? Then you try all the different ways, you know? You see what you like I best. Like it's just, okay, same. I hated handles for so long, but I've recently started exploring different handles with different forms, starting to love it. See, I know a few people that say handles are their favorite. Now I love handles. And I just don't, I'm like, why? I love it. <laughs> oh, look, there's Kim and Kanye. Is that this year or is that a flashback? That's got to be this year. Yeah, because they're not flashing back. Nothing that spectacular, guys. She just put her hands up. She's she's working her outfit and her look. Kim has been posting every previous Met Gala on her oh, story. Really? I watch. You're like, so I've, anyhow, seen, I've seen it. Yeah, this look is fine. She's, what? it's fine. So I decided I wanted it to be a bowl. It's a bowl. Look at it. It's such an out. Emily Wicks bowl, too. I could recognize that. I could spot that on the shelf and be like, Emily, like <laughs> I see your bowl. And that's good. I feel like as an artist, you want to um, have wanna a recognizable have, yeah. style. Did you say wood trimming? Yes. Yeah, so my mother and I actually, and a friend of ours, took a wood turning class. That's really cool. And it was so cool. Barbara Dill here in Richmond. She's a local. Nice. Where is that? Where would you do that? Uh, I don't even remember. I was like in... I had like just graduated high school or in high, high school, college. And my mom, my mom says she's not an artist. You, right? I went to JMU, did the art ed. They didn't have wood turning. Um, but so my mom loves art. She's like the biggest art appreciator, craftsy woman. But she says she's not an artist, but she is. So my mom got us a class, a wood turning class. And That's you take so a solid, funny. have you ever done wood turning? You put a solid block. It's basically like turning your bowl upside down, and it's solid. See my bowl. So do you feel the heaviness of my bowl? It's got like a lot of weight at the bottom. Yeah, that's like. Mine. I mean, it's a big bowl, but yeah. you know what I mean. And I'll be trimming these later. And I love She's to trim. Oh, look, there's another member. No uh, wait. Have your mom come for? Have your mom come? We were just talking, we were about, just talking about this. My mother refuses. She should. My mother's one of my biggest supporters, but she will not be on the camera. She does not want to be documented ever. She's made that clear. She I should. should. Um, but we took an art class together and she loves art and you put the solid block and it spins and you take the trim tool and you remove to shape Whoa. the bowl and it was oh, literally yeah. I had an aha moment. Sorry, oh, so things are all <laughs> See, you know what? I don't normally throw on bats. I normally throw and then I just cut it off and I, here I'll show you. Well, I, well, I can't take those bat pins out. These bat pins come out. But I normally just don't. Pretend you don't have a bat with that one. Yeah, see. that one is loose. Sometimes I turn this and try to tighten it. Just tighten it a little bit. Yeah. Here, I'll do a handle, the handle there, really quickly, tight. and then I'll do one. Oh, yeah, because, oh, my gosh, we have less than two minutes. Oh, my God, I was going to do Okay, let me do it as soon as I can. This has been so fun, guys. If you don't follow Emily E. Wiggs, she's a local Russian yeah. potter. She'll be around in Sika, and her studio, she's 25 years old, and she has her own community play studio, and it will be part of Nsika. It's going to be so much and fun. And it's in Northside Richmond. Like, I could walk to it. And you can totally come check us out on Nsika. Check them out. Yeah, they're going to have parties so and events. I'm doing this in under two minutes. <laughs> All right, so this is, you're doing a handle demo? I'm doing a handle demo. All right, people who want to know about handles, boom, it's happening. So I am doing a flat form. Like a plate? Almost like a plate. I'm okay. going to open it up. Oh, all the way to the wheel? All the way to the okay. wheel. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to go kind of fast right now because we don't have a lot of time, but I would want to do this pretty slow. This is just to show you the general idea. So right now you've got like, you've got a donut but you've got it open. Okay, all the way to the wheel, pulling it back. Guys, also, if you're not a Molly or a Throwing with Molly member, make sure you click the link in my bio, become a Throwing with Molly member, and I'm gonna do how to pull handles, attach handles this week, and meanwhile, you're getting bonus coverage from Emily E. Wicks, how to throw a handle. 
So you see this right here, it's pretty thick, but if I just kept pulling back, that would be my handle. And then you just cut it to the shape you want your handle. I cut it, and then I have these options. Spin it, get that water, show them. It's, look, guys, no bottom. That's Boom, right. no bottom. Circle. All right, it's cheers, Ellie. Thank you so much for coming on. This Thank is so fun. Me. Cheers. So thankful to have some local potter.